How often should I weigh myself? This is a question that pops in the head of most dieters, but the answer is not black and white. In this video, I'll share what the research has to say about the frequency of self-weighing and share some insights from members of my coaching program. I was curious to learn what research has discovered about the impact of monitoring your weight as you diet and was surprised to find many articles on the topic. And I'll say that many of the studies indicated that more frequent self-weighing was associated with greater weight loss and weight gain prevention. And by more frequent, they meant those who weighed themselves daily or weekly. So we could go with the research and stop there. But what I've found is that the frequency in which you weigh yourself is a very personal decision. And I can comment on that from a personal perspective. Um, when I came to a crossroad in my life, when I realized that I could no longer keep eating the way I was eating, I created a plan to follow in 40 day diet cycles. Um, if you're curious about the origin of the 40 days at a time approach, I will point to a video on my second YouTube channel that provides the full story. But basically, 40 is a biblical number, and as a Christian woman, it has significance to me. So when I set my sights on 40 days, I focused on following my plan without exception and trusted that it would get me the results that I was after. That meant that I needed to resist the urge to weigh myself, and I did only weigh in on each 40th day. And of course, that took discipline, but it did work very well for me because I didn't get into that mental struggle that can come from more frequent weigh-ins. Uh, you know, I often say that we live in a very intelligent machine that is constantly making adjustments to keep us alive and functioning. Uh, you may have a goal of seeing the scale drop every day, but your body does not share that goal. If it needs to retain water to maintain balance, it will do that, and that water weight will show up on the scale. For me, at that time in my life, I didn't feel mentally strong enough to weather the inevitable times when my weight loss would plateau or slow down, so I put off weighing until the complete 40-day diet cycle was over. Some members of my coaching program share this philosophy and others do not. Um, for instance, one of the members posted this question in the forum. Do you guys weekly weigh or wait until the end of your goal period? I am in two minds about it. On one hand, I would love to know how I am going, but on the other, I don't want the knowledge of that to put me off. If I haven't lost what I thought, I might go into sabotage because my mind would think it's not working so this treat doesn't matter. Or if I lose, then my mind might also sabotage me and say that this little treat doesn't matter. Now this spurred a lively conversation among members. Some members use the forum to post their weekly weigh-in results and they find that it provides accountability that keeps them on track. Others take a looser approach and weigh themselves sporadically to make sure that they are moving in the right direction. And others find strength in daily weigh-ins and feel that knowing where their body is each day provides them with more information or simply satisfies their curiosity. But what it really comes down to is that how often you elect to weigh in is a personal choice. And I will add that the overarching goal of any weight loss program should be to create for yourself a way of eating that is easy to follow, enjoyable, and effective. When you have those three E's in place, there is no reason to step away from your diet and you will reach your goal.